Welcome, welcome. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Texas Association for College Admissions Virtual College Fair. We have a killer lineup of institutions for you to hear from this evening. Um, but before I turn it over to them, I do have a couple of housekeeping items for you. My name's Courtney and I'm gonna be your host for tonight. Um, this is a webinar, so your camera and your microphone are off. So our panelists cannot see or hear you. But we do know that you might have some questions and they wanna make sure that you get those questions answered. So at any time, you can put your question in the Q&A at the bottom of the screen, um, type out your question, but also type the college or university that you're directing your question to so that they can answer it appropriately. This is a really fun way um, to learn about different colleges and universities, some maybe that you've heard of before, and maybe some that are new to you this evening. Um, and there's lots more opportunities to hear um, from more colleges and institutions, both tomorrow and the next night after that. So for the next two evenings, there's gonna be other sessions that you can hear from. So please sign up for additional sessions. This, this is being recorded this evening and will be available at strivescan.com slash Texas. Um, very, very soon. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our first presenter. Um, I have the opportunity to introduce you tonight to Lynn University. So take it away whenever you're ready. All right, Courtney, thanks so much. Kind of hard to follow that up when you say you have a killer lineup, but I'm excited to talk to you about Lynn University. We are in Boca Raton, Florida. What's interesting about us is we are a area in which the city is not built around the college. Lynn University is built around Boca Raton, Florida, which means we go to 99% of the world and we're expected to become the cryptocurrency capital of the world by the end of next year. And I'll tell you how all of that aligns with who we are. We are a mini United Nations. We are only 20% from the state of Florida. 80% is just like yourself from a different state, different country, which really permits us unique opportunities. One of the things that I really wanna focus on is how Lynn University changed during COVID. Because of COVID-19, we never went virtual. Most importantly, we developed a block schedule. That means that you are only taking one course every four weeks, Monday through Thursday, for two and a half hours per day. Fridays are reserved for guest speakers or experiential based learning. For example, if you're doing forensics investigation, you'll solve murder, well, mock murder mysteries on campus. We have something called the F Up series. We just had the CEO of TikTok and the VP of Chanel talk about their experiences going through a global pandemic. All right, technology, right? At its finest. At Lynn University, we no longer sell textbooks. We've been an Apple Distinguished School for about 10 years now. What does that really mean? That means that all of our students receive an iPad Pro. Don't come to Lynn just because you're going to get an iPad Pro. Come because of the ecosystem. One of the great things with us is all the books have been pre-downloaded and written by our faculty members, and they are now iBooks. Lynn University does not provide tenure, so the faculty members develop courses they wish they would have taken in college compared to what they wish they would have known after graduating. If you're more of an audio learner, you can highlight a passage or make it into an audio book, highlight a, another passage, make it into a note section. We make learning fun again. It takes an average student five and a half years to graduate college in the United States. At Lynn, you can actually finish in three years and we will pay 30 credits for you to finish early. Now, let's talk about who we are as a community. We have six different colleges. If you're looking to become a pilot, I will teach you how to fly a plane. I just can't teach you how to build it. We are based out of the Boca Executive Airport. And with us, you can obtain your private, your commercial, and your instrumental rating. Our College of Arts and Sciences, the fun fact that we have here is we actually have a partnership with the Washington Internship Institute program, which means you can actually go to Washington, D.C. for a full semester and work with senators, congressmen, lobbyists, consulates, and embassies on policy change. So as a sophomore, be prepared. You might be changing the world, whether you know it or not yet. Now, our College of Business and Management is our most popular program. The fun fact that we have here is, as I mentioned, Lynn University is built around Boca Raton, and Boca Raton has over 1,500 multinational corporations. That actually means over 1,500 different opportunities for internships. 
A few programs our students look at us from Texas. We have entrepreneurship. Our students actually created this toothpaste that in the morning has caffeine to wake you up. And at night to help you go to bed, it has melatonin. We have a fashion and retail program in which during your junior year, you actually create your own fashion show. And we have sports management. Our students actually just got back from the NCAA Final Four, and they're about to do another internship with ESPN with the Summer X Games. So a little bit of everything all rolled into one. Now, our, co our College of Communication Design, this one's interesting. Our students under computer animation actually worked on Marvel's Endgame, and we just received a $200,000 donation, and we are becoming Brand Star Studios. So instead of just having a green room, you will now have an LED wall. Just like the Mandalorian was uh, developed on, our students will have full access to that. The fun fact as well, one of our faculty members worked 30 years for Stan Lee. Now, our last two colleges that we provide, as I mentioned, with our block schedule on Fridays, it's an experiential way of learning. Fridays is the hardest day for you to receive a substitute teacher, well, to find one. So under the College of Education, all of our students become certified substitute teachers as a freshman, and every Friday they are teaching in elementary and middle schools. And if you're a talented musician, we do have a conservatory of music, world renowned. The fun fact about it is that if you're offered admission, it is a full tuition scholarship. And one of our faculty members actually won the gold medal at the Tchaikovsky competition in Russia, being a violinist. Now at the end of the day, and I'll make this very evident, acceptance rates don't matter. You shouldn't care about acceptance rates. They do not define who you are and what you'll do in college. What you want to look for is career placement, which is what does that degree mean once I graduate? I'm very happy to let you know that 98% of students within the first year find a job or go, in, go on into graduate school. We have our three plus one with our master's or a three plus three with a Juris Doctorate. Now, I know Courtney keeps us very strict on time, so I don't want to take up too much more of your time. But if you decide to get more information about Lynn and you're saying this is an incredible opportunity, this is where you can scan us, get more information, and we will definitely stay in communication with you. Thank you for your time and hope to see y'all soon. Thanks so much to Lynn University. Um, audience, don't forget, you can put your questions in the Q&A at any time. Um, you don't have to wait for a particular institution to present. Um, and let's continue having fun. So next up, you'll get the opportunity to hear from St. John's College. Take it away, Caroline, whenever you're ready. Thanks so much. Okay, hi everyone. I'm Caroline Randall and I'm the Director of Admissions for St. John's College. And we are pretty much the weirdest college you're ever gonna hear about. And we are the epitome of liberal arts college. So St. John's is the third oldest college in the nation. We were started in the late 1600s, about the same time as Harvard and William and Mary. And at that time, when you went to college, there were no majors. You went to college to be a genius in everything. And we still do that. So we have one major, a liberal arts major where you study absolutely everything. We have two really cool locations. We have tons of financial aid available, and I promise this one major can get you to almost any possible career you're thinking about. And as a bonus, we have no tests, no textbooks, no lectures, and I think the coolest mascot around. So this one major, we are a great books program. What this means is that we don't use textbooks. We only use original sources and primary texts. So instead of reading a summary of chemistry that has been discovered over the past many, many, many years, we actually go back and read directly from Lavoisier who created chemistry. You read Einstein and Newton and Tocqueville and Du Bois, Lincoln, James Baldwin, you read everybody from these original sources. And we do all of this in very small discussion-based classes, no class over 20 students, Every class discussion-based or Socratic method where you sit around a table and you talk through every class. Every voice is heard and we value diversity of thought around the table. And we do no tests. You literally are going to read, sit in class and discuss, and then write some reflection papers. 
because we are not trying to teach you to memorize something and spit it back out on a test. We want to teach you to question everything that you read and truly understand the foundations of ideas and how we got to this point as humans and where we can go from here. So you are all going to take mathematics, science, Greek, French, music, a lot of philosophy, human thought. You take it all in your four years at St. John's. So we are absolutely a school for book nerds. If you love to ask why, this is the type of program that you, be sh you should be going to. We read over 200 books during those four years. So our two college campuses, you get to pick from Annapolis, Maryland. We are right on the water. We're next to the Naval Academy. 500 students total on campus. Our freshmen live right at the center of campus where everything is going on. We do a lot of intramural programs rowing, crew, fencing. We play croquet against the Naval Academy every spring and we almost always beat them. And even if it is croquet, it's pretty cool to say that we get to beat Navy at something close to DC, New York City, Boston. Or you can pick from Santa Fe, New Mexico, 7,300 foot elevation. We are built into the side of the Rocky Mountains with 400 miles of hiking trails that lead from our campus parking lot. Again, 500 students, so a small, close-knit community. All of our students live on campus. You get to do all the hiking and skiing and snowshoeing, and you're in the third largest art market in the world. We have a lot of gaming competitions. It is a cool, funky location in the mountains. Now, where in the world can you go with this career? Basically anywhere. So right now they're estimating that 17 year olds today will actually have 17 different careers in your lifetime. That's a lot. So the idea of just picking one major in a very focused area and just following that through to graduation and staying in that career forever is not happening anymore. So with us, you are not picking a major, you're not picking a minor, we are going to prepare you for everything. About 20% of our students go on to law school, we have a 100% acceptance rate into law school. Um, we are the number one school for students going on to get a PhD in humanities. We send students into teaching, scientific research, financial analysis has been really big lately. Um, also, the current senator in Nebraska, attorney general in California, and the founder of the world's best and most successful vegan yogurt company all came from St. John's. We don't do classes during the summer, so every summer we focus on job shadowing and internships to help you to figure out where you're gonna go. But 85% of our students go on to graduate school and that's really where you start to specialize in some different areas. So if this is right for you, if you like to study a wide range of subjects, if you are the kid keeping your teacher after class every day going, what else can I do? What else do I need to understand? Why does this work? How does this work? If you're in debate, mock trial, theater, if you don't want to be limited by campus locations or by majors, you should definitely be checking out St. John's. Um, we have no application fee. Our essay is the most important part of our application. 96% of our students have scholarships and financial aid, including the fact that we double all Pell Grants. So we try to make this as affordable as possible. And as promised, we do have the coolest mascot around, the axolotl, which your fun scientific fact is they regenerate limbs, organs, and brain cells rapidly when they get damaged. And so it's a really cool thing to study and understand. So we actually breed them on campus and are trying to figure out how that can connect to human regeneration growth. So it is a really cool, funky, weird college for book nerds. So please come and check us out and request more information online. Thanks so much. Thank you so much, Caroline, to you and St. John's College. Um, I told you this would be fun. Our next institution you'll get to hear from tonight is Drury University. Take it away whenever you're ready. Okay, perfect. Let me go ahead and make this full screen. Okay, so um, I'm Haley. I actually attended Drew University um, for my undergrad, um, and I'm the admissions counselor for Texas. Um, so you'll see a few QR codes um, on every few slides. Um, you guys are more than welcome to, you know, to get your phones and scan those, kind of see what they're about. Um, this is just a general marketing brochure. Um, these are just some kind of quick stats about Drury. 
Um, so some of note would be our small class size. So we have a 13 to one faculty ratio. Um, we also have a 19 average class size. Um, we are located in Springfield, Missouri. So we are actually consistently ranked um, one of the best universities in the Midwest. Um, if you're an athletics kind of person, um, we do have over 22 NCAA teams and we did just get six new club sports. So that's like rugby, ice hockey, stunt, um, all sorts of things like that. We even have lacrosse now. Um, a little bit about how to apply if you are interested. Um, you can see kind of on the bottom right, there are three easy steps to apply. Um, we are test optional, so you can send us an essay if you aren't loving your SAT or ACT scores, or maybe COVID made you not have the chance to take those. Um, and also our application is free. So if at the end of this presentation, Jury sounds like a really cool place, um, we'd love to kind of talk about your application. Um, so like I said, we are located in Springfield, Missouri. So we are actually the third largest city in Missouri. Um, I like to call us, you know, the convenience of a city, but the feeling of a small town. Um, so a little bit about Springfield, we've got two different sides. So the first side is kind of big city. So we have, this is downtown Springfield. Um, we have lots of cool parking garages. We have a really cool um, Christmas tree lighting ceremony. Um, and obviously the Christmas times of winter. Um, up on the top left is the Galois. It's a local um, like music venue. It's not the only music venue in town. So if you are a, a good concert goer, um, I'm sure you'll really love um, the downtown nightlife. Andy's is also really popular, that bottom left photo there. Um, it actually originated in the Springfield area. It's uh, frozen custard. If you guys don't have them in Texas, um, they're really, really good. Um, my favorite is the Cookie Casanova. They have it in February. It's a chocolate chip cookie and it's really tasty. Um, and then the, the middle picture there on the bottom is um, what we call our pedal pub. So obviously once you're of age, um, there's lots of things to do like nightlife wise um, in downtown Springfield. And then of course, on that top right, you can kind of see um, a big overview of downtown Springfield and just kind of what the city looks like. So that's one side of Springfield. We also have a very um, countryer, naturier side of Springfield as well. Um, so we have lots of spots on campus to hammock. This bottom left photo is actually taken on campus. Um, we also just got some new hammock stands last year, which are like metal. Um, you can fit, I think, up to eight or 10 different people in there. You can kind of stack yourselves as, as high as you want. Um, so that's really cool. So if the city's not for you, or maybe you like a little bit of both, um, Springfield is definitely going to be your place to be. We have a large access to um, different caverns. So this is fantastic caverns up here. There's actually like a little drive through that you can do. It's really fun. Um, if you're into more like water sports, so you're interested in like kayaking, canoeing, we have a lot of lakes nearby um, with boat rentals. But of course, if you're interested in hiking, we also have nature trails nearby and we're also a really short drive um, to like bigger nature trails as well. So Let's talk about life on campus now that we've kind of talked about Springfield. So we are a residential campus. So all freshmen are asked to live on campus, at least for their freshman year. We have three different dorms. Um, we have co-ed and single gender housing options. So that means that you can live with either um, a suite of either single gender or um, if you choose to live in co-ed, you totally can. Um, we have suite and apartment style. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing any of those, you guys are more than welcome to check out the virtual dorm tour that we just sent in the chat. Springfield also has really low crime rates. Um, we do have 24-7 security on campus. Um, so kind of talking about why Drury, um, we have a really strong academic reputation as far as being the best um, Midwestern university. Um, we're also really cool. We have a so we're a four year private liberal arts college and we have really popular renowned STEM majors. I was into STEM major when I went to Drury, so it doesn't mean you have to be a STEM major, but they are really popular. We also have this really cool thing called Drury Fusion. Um, it's basically a way where you can kind of fuse your profession and your life. Um, so basically you are going to be able to graduate with three credentials. So you're going to have one major, one certificate, and then the last one you get to choose. Um, you also have life-changing mentorship, which is basically tutoring, um, job search, uh, resume and cover letter help, all of those things, as well as real world experience. So that's like a capstone project, internships, um, studying abroad, research, those types of things. And the Cox Compass Center will definitely help you for all of those. 
So if you're wondering what the heck is a certificate, great question. This QR code takes you actually to um, a website where the professors will explain what each of their classes are about. So all of these, I know it's a lot to read. Um, so if you're interested in any of these and you're kind of thinking, oh, that sounds interesting. I wonder what that class is about. Feel free to scan that QR code um, and you'll be able to, to see kind of what those are about. If you're interested in Drury, our application is free and I would definitely recommend coming to visit campus. Thank you. Haley, thank you so much to you and Drury University. Audience, don't forget, you can put your questions in the Q&A at any time. Next up, I have the pleasure of introducing to you SUNY Cortland. Um, take it away, Alyssa, whenever you're ready. Awesome, thank you. Share my screen here real quick. Awesome. My name is Alyssa. I am a, a regional recruiter and senior admissions counselor for SUNY Cortland. Uh, what is SUNY? SUNY is the State University of New York. We are one of 64 campuses in New York, and so I'm here to talk about SUNY Cortland specifically. We have about 7,000 total students on campus, so a small, small to medium-sized school in the state of New York. We bring in about 1,200 first-year students each year and about 500 transfer students. Um, the average class size is going to be about 24 with a student-to-faculty ratio of 15 to 1. And with that, I always like to note that professors always teach the class. Um, we do have some teacher's assistants that will help your professors, but you will never be taught solely by a teacher's assistant, which is pretty cool. Um, we're a, we're a small college town. Um, we've got students represented from 33 states. So this is part of what I do as a regional recruiter is recruit students from out of state like you guys. Um, we're about 45 minutes from Syracuse and Binghamton and then about 30 minutes from Ithaca, um, which are kind of the bigger towns around us in upstate New York. Um, I would say within an hour radius, we probably have about six or seven colleges, which is pretty cool when it comes to activities, sporting events, events. Um, transportation, um, as far as buses or um, different tours. We are about three and a half hours from New York City, so there's always an opportunity to go down there for a day or to go up to Syracuse and watch a basketball game. Um, it's a lot to do kind of in this area. Um, I also like to note that we are the number one safest campus in the state of New York, and we have held that title for a few years now, which is pretty cool. As far as majors, we are a liberal arts school, so we have a ton of different majors across the board. Um, we have a lot of different sciences, um, speech, um, speech and hearing science, sports management, um, education, and then I like to say the ology, so psychology, criminology, um, sociology. And with a lot of these, we have a ton of hands-on experience. Um, our speech and hearing science major has a clinic uh, for the community to use at any time that's run by our graduate students um, and often uh, looked after by our undergraduate students so you can get some hands-on experience. Um, same with our sciences. We have a lot of research opportunities. You can do them individually. Um, you can do them in a group. You can do them with a professor. Um, a lot of our professors also teach at Cornell. Um, so there's a lot of different opportunities there um, for a lot of our different majors. I just like to touch on a few. Again, we have a lot of internship opportunities. Um, we used to host the Jets training camp, so we have a great partnership with the NFL. Um, a lot of our sports management majors like to do internships with the NFL um, or help different training programs. Um, we have a great uh, opportunity with Walt Disney World and the Disney College program, ESPN, um, a lot of things going on in the city, um, Madison Square Garden. Um, and then we have a lot of opportunity as well in Washington, DC. Um, we have a lot of students that work for the UN, um, which is pretty cool. A lot of different opportunities kind of across the board. It's hard to touch on all of them. As far as clubs, we have over 80 clubs. Um, only three students and a faculty member are needed to create a new club. So we always have new things coming on campus. Each of our majors has its own clubs or education club. Um, it's not just for our education majors, but if you're also interested in volunteering with students or learning more about the education major, that's definitely something you can, you can join. Uh, we have a student-led podcast, um, news production, uh, magazine, TV show, uh, you name it, we have it. Um, we have a different dance opportunities. We have um, different arts. Uh, different um, majors are really the most important. A lot of volunteer opportunities with these as well. Um, we also have sororities and fraternities, which you can also be a part of. As far as our athletics, we are known as being a sports school, even though we are D3. Um, we have 25 varsity teams. 
We have a ton of sports uh, clubs, and then we have a lot of intramural opportunities. So depending on how serious you are, you certainly don't have to play at all, but these are just the opportunities we do have. Um, we have 131 national championships across the board in a variety of our different sports. And then our rival football game was played two years ago at MetLife Stadium. And then this year it's going to be played at um, the Yankees Stadium, which is pretty cool. I know it sounds weird to have a football game on a baseball field, but we're doing it and I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. Uh, we did break the record for the most um, attendees at a D3 game, which is pretty cool. And then our Student Life Center is kind of the hub of student life on campus. Um, you'll see in the background of some different shots of that. It's all things recreation, so we have an indoor track, a rock wall, a golf simulator, yoga room, kick uh, CrossFit room, um, and all of our classes are free for our students and they're taught by our students. We have an indoor pool, um, we have a 20 person hot tub, we have a game room in there, and then a lot of our intramural sports are played in here as well. On the other side of this, we have all things food, our newest dining facility is in there. Um, it's kind of like a stations, there's a burger station, pasta station, salad bar, and then we have different theme nights. So one might be a pizza night, make your own pizza, stir fry. Something I always like to mention as we're looking at people working out is that we have a cookie warmer in that facility. So you can either work out or you can enjoy a nice warm freshly baked cookie on your way out. As far as expenses, really the most important thing on this page is the Future New Yorker Award. All of our out-of-state students are given the $7,500 award per year that is automatic. If you are admitted to the college, you will receive that and you will receive that each and every year that you are a student with SUNY Cortland. Something cool, it's free money. We also have a variety of other scholarships, merit-based, um, and then we have some endowed scholarships from our alumni that they donated um, that go to our students as well. Um, but that's really all I have for you. I know my time is running out. If you have any questions, please reach out to me and I hope to hear from you all soon. Alyssa, thank you so much to you and SUNY Cortland. We're now traveling from New York all the way to um, New Orleans. So take it away, Loyola University, um, New Orleans. Hello, thank you, Courtney. Um, Definitely having some technical issues. So before I get started, I do kind of want to put my contact information just in case I get cut off. And then I kind of wanted to list my uh, top five programs. Again, in case, just like in case I lose you guys. But again, my name is Ricky Alarcon with Loyola University in New Orleans. Um, we are a small private Catholic Jesuit school located in the city of New Orleans. Um, so a very small campus. So we usually attract the students that want a small campus feeling, knowing everyone on campus. Um, that's what we're, uh, that's what we want our students to, uh, to have that experience. So opportunities to do research, study abroad, um, get those jobs after they graduate. So we like to have that um, um, experience for our students. So again, very small campus. And then these next few slides are basically going to be um, are going to be what school again, 3,200 3, students, um, less than um, 3,200 students, small campus. And it looks like I'm going to stop sharing because it looks like I'm freezing up. But again, um, I do want to talk about our top five programs that I listed there. So fine arts is our top areas. We do have great programs for, of course, music industry studies, which is the business side of the music industry. Uh, jazz studies, of course. Um, of course, our traditional vocal performance. Um, if you play an instrument, we have those classes classical um, degrees as well. Uh, as, as well, we also have music education, theater, um, actually in our program of music and media also has journalism and filmmaking. So of course, you know, New Orleans is known for its film and film production. Um, we actually get our students involved in that as well. Probably two is our, our second largest department is our College of Business. That has like programs such as accounting, management, um, international business, uh, economics, finance. Uh, three is probably our sciences. We do offer some great programs such as uh, biology, chemistry, pre-med. 
We just started direct entry into nursing. So again, that's different from a lot of the Texas schools. Um, direct entry means once you get accepted, you're in the program. Um, four is probably psychology and five is criminology. Um, we do have a law school here. So we do see some criminology students going to pre-law, pre uh, but actually we're seeing a lot of philosophy students going into to law school. So that's very important. Um, and then I kind of just want to wrap things up um, with uh, some of our uh, application process and um, things that we look at when the students apply are what they call test blind or test free, which that means basically is we will uh, not look at test scores, no SAT or ACT scores. And basically it's a holistic review. Uh, we will review everything from the student. And then we'll look at the admissions, but also the Talking that process uh, is the offer of great scholars for students being a school, you know, uh, we need to offer some, and again, since our holistic review, um, you know, determining uh, those scholarships. Um, and then, of course, we also offer some great music scholarships for those students that are in music. We offer some great uh, awards. Um, and, and then also, we are Division One NAIA um, Athletic. So we just, our basketball team on the men's side won the national championship. So we're excited. Uh, the, and the women's team did pretty well. They were in, uh, I think, top 25 in, in the country. So again, we're proud of our uh, student athletes. Um, we are open for, um, you know, visits and tours. And if you can visit, we will but of course, if you, you know, if distance is, is an all, you know, definitely we have our verbal option. And, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it back. Thank you. We lost you there right at the end. So um, I hope that maybe you'll put your contact information again in the chat. Our final presentation tonight will be from Marist College. Um, take it away whenever you're ready. Thanks, uh, Courtney. And obviously I am not Nicole, but it didn't let me change the name. So for tonight, I guess I, I, guess I am. Um, let me just share my screen really quick and we can get started. Awesome. And I'll just present it. So uh, my name is Nick uh, Gerard. You can just call me Nick. Um, I actually went to Marist College um, and graduated last May, and now I'm an admission counselor. So I think that gives me the best of both worlds, um, if that makes any sense in terms of like experiences and things like that. Um, obviously, there's only six minutes, so this is just a very quick overview. And for more information, especially on things like our majors, uh, you can go to our website, and we have all of that for you. So getting started. Um, we are located um, in upstate New York, relatively upstate. Uh, we're about halfway between the city and Albany, up in Dutchess County, specifically in Poughkeepsie, um, right on the Hudson River, which is great because one, it's beautiful. Um, we actually have an Instagram account specifically dedicated to sunsets over the river that's called Maris Sunsets. Um, but two, we really have built the entire campus to face the river. So every academic building will have windows that are facing or overlooking the water. Um, and it's a way to kind of keep you know, you're feeling fresh while you're probably uh, in class not feeling so fresh. So kind of having that view and feeling like nature is really right there is great. And that's not even to mention all the kids that hang out along the river and eat lunch or just talk to their friends down there. It's really a great option um, for students to spend their time. So getting into a quick demographic overview of Marist College, um, we are a mid, uh, small to mid-sized institutions. We have about 5,500 undergraduate students in 40 different majors. We also have just over 900 graduate students comprising 15 different graduate programs. So I definitely think there's a nice blend of educational experience levels on campus at any given time. As you can see by the figures on the bottom of the left-hand side of the screen, um, we are a very diverse campus as well. And we have students from all around the world. So it's really great to help 
students from wherever uh, kind of expand their worldview and get to interact with students who didn't have the same upbringing as they may have. We are, since we are small, um, we are lucky to have a 16 to one student to faculty ratio with an average of 20 to 25 um, per class. So you really get that small classroom feel and get on a name to name basis with your professors. We are highly residential as well with about 96% of freshmen living on campus and about 70% or so staying on campus for all four years. Um, and as you can see on the right hand of the side of the screen, two of my favorite figures, on the top, um, within six months of graduation, about 97% of Marist College graduates are either employed or enrolled in graduate school. And six months is generally the same, the usual time frame they use for these kind of um, statistics. So we're really happy to say that. And as you can see right below that, we do have a higher graduation rate than the national average for public and private institutions. So of course, this speaks to the dedication and drive really of our students, but I do also think it speaks to the power of our support services that we have to offer our students Nick. on campus. Nick, I'm yes. so sorry to interrupt. Oh, it just came back up. I was going to say you're oh. on my end, your, your um, presentation had gone away, but it's now back up on okay. my end. So <laughs> no never worries. mind. Sorry about that. <laughs> Carry no, I'm on. Sorry. I appreciate you looking out. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so moving on. Um, these are the majors that I had mentioned. Um, for more specific information, um, I do urge you to go to our website. Uh, where you can find course listings for every major, information on it, and you can find contact information for the department chairs, uh, whatever you may need. Um, what's great uh, about our academic experience specifically is we like to emphasize the integration of theory and practice, which is really just a fancy way of saying we want you to learn in the classroom and then apply that learning to hands-on experiences, which is why we're happy to offer a plethora of facilities available on campus to give students that internship level experience while they're still at home, really, um, on campus at Marist College. Um, what's great, too, is we really uh, like to emphasize the accessibility of internships um, through our services at Marist. Uh, we have internship coordinators in every single school, as well as a career services department that works day and night, really, to make sure students uh, have the best possible experience and get every opportunity that they would like. They'll help you fix your resume. Uh, do mock interviews, to have career fairs. We have a really close proximity to New York City, so a lot of students will intern there. Um, our study abroad program actually was recently ranked number two in the country as well, which is really cool. So we do encourage students, if they have any kind of interest, um, definitely look into it as about 50% or so of Marist students uh, spend some time um, studying abroad at some point in their four years. We do also have a lot of things going on at campus at any given time. Um, we have 80 different clubs, including Greek life. We're D1, so we have 23 Division I teams. My favorite, however, is our club and intramural offerings. I was on an intramural flag football team. And to be honest, we were terrible. Like we lost every single game, but it was a lot of fun. So totally fun. Uh, and you get to meet a lot of new people and it's a really good stress reliever. And that's not even to mention all the things that our student activities puts on, such as cheap Yankee tickets, Broadway tickets. There's always something to do on campus. In terms of applications, we have three deadlines, as you can see, and on average, our students um, that are admitted have around 87 to 93 GPA, um, and we're actually test optional, which is my favorite part, so you don't have to send your scores unless you want to, uh, and the acceptance rate for both is around the same. Uh, we'd love to have you on campus. We do visits every single day, like legitimately every single day, multiple times a day. Uh, so whenever you guys can come up, we do in-person visits, virtual visits, self-guided visits, whatever works best for you and your family is completely okay with us. Um, of course, this is my name. That's my email. Uh, I'll send my details in the chat, um, but thank you guys for having me um, tonight, and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Nick, thank you so much to you and Marist College. I'm now going to invite all of our panelists to turn back on their cameras. And I'm going to tap into your expertise. So in the same order that you presented, what is your best piece of advice you can give a student going through the college search process? And we'll start with Lynn um, first, Lynn University, sorry. Sure, that it's not a competition of who gets into what school, but rather the application has to become a testament of who you've been the last four years and your potential for the next four years. As I mentioned, acceptance rates don't matter. At the end of the day, you're looking for the community, the culture, and the career placement opportunities within that respective school. There's over 4,000 schools, and over 80% of the uh, institutions accept half of the students that apply. So there's options out there. 
I recommend applying for every single scholarship you can ever possibly find because the worst they can say is no. Check out bold.org, B-O-L-D dot O-R-G and raise, R-A-I-S-E dot M-E. Great skirt, search tools. There are scholarships for people who write with their left hand, people who have asthma. The Texas Too Tall Society has scholarships for tall people. Anything that makes you weird, there's a scholarship for. Find it. $50, $500, whatever it is. Even if you are lucky enough to have parents or grandparents that will help with the cost of college, the more scholarships you earn, the less they have to pay, the better your birthday gifts are. So keep applying for scholarships. I would say that my um, piece of college advice would be to choose a college that you're interested in, not one that your friends are interested in, not one that your parents or your grandparents, your aunts and uncles, your brothers, your cousins are interested in. College is going to be four long, hard years, and it's going to be a lot harder if you didn't pick a college that you love, and that's for you. I would say ask questions. Ask us. This is our this is our job to help you. This is your counselor's job to help you. So when we're in your high schools and we're doing these events, ask questions, no matter what they are. Um, we're here to help you in the college process and enjoy your junior and senior year. Um, it is going to be stressful, but make sure that you're taking time to enjoy it. Oh, no. um, oh. take notes. As you're seeing, it's always take your time. Relax, self care. You know, I know, you know, senior year is always stressful for a lot of students. Have great follow, make sure the, you know, sometimes. Um, and then I think Haley uh, briefly touched on this, but um, when I talk to students, I usually say, just because I've seen it a lot of times in my experience, that, um, you know, it's really easy to get caught up on what your friends are doing, like, oh, they're going to this school or they're studying this subject. Um, but I also know in my experiences, a lot of my friends that maybe went places they shouldn't have because of girlfriends they had or boyfriends they had or friends they had. Um, so make sure, I think Haley said this, like I said, but make sure that you're really putting yourself first. This is the only time you get to be kind of selfish and really focus on yourself first and foremost. So don't let your friends where they're going, if they're gonna be close to you, influence your decision. You're gonna make plenty of friends in college. It's almost difficult not to, to be honest. So uh, make sure you put yourself first and really um, focus on where you wanna go. And so we'll do this in rapid fire. What is one thing that you really want students and families to remember about your college? And we'll go in that same order that you presented. Rapid fire that we permit students to graduate in three years instead of four. And as far as I'm aware of, we're the only school in the United States, we will pay 30 credits for students to finish early that I'm aware of. St. John's College is perfect for you if you don't know where you want to go or if you have 400 different ideas or careers in mind. And if you love to read and you love to ask really big, hard questions of yourself and others. Dre University is the best place to fuse things that you're passionate about and things that you know you want to do in your professional life, but maybe um, you don't want to major in, you know, art because your dad wants you to be a doctor or stuff like that. You can still do things that you love and things that you want to do when you grow up. SUNY Cortland has a lot of academic opportunities as well as a lot of extracurricular act opportunities. Um, you can take classes outside of your major so you can kind of build your own schedule and your own major um, to make sure that your resume is representative of you and your passions and your goals. Yeah, we offer some great options. Again, I think my fellow colleagues, you know, as far as double majoring, minoring, we encourage our students to try, you know, whatever your passions are and we can make that degree, you know, fit you personally. So, you know, it's always okay to explore new options. Um, I would say this is more of a fun fact, but we actually have a fully fledged campus in Italy, in Florence, that students can study at four years for, and we're actually the only U.S. accredited institution that can offer both bachelor's and master's degrees through it. So 
you could literally study there all four years and then have the same degree as somebody here. So I recommend you look into it. So much great information from um, you guys tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, as you close out, there'll be a quick uh, five question survey. So we do hope that you'll provide us with some feedback. I told you this was a really fun way to learn about colleges. So we hope that you'll sign up for more ses sessions here in the next couple of days. This was recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash Texas. And I think I can speak for all of the panelists um, and we wish you the very best in your college search. Um, have some fun with this um, because it really is a transformative experience. So have a good one, everyone. Bye.